Okay, this is the demo for the log backup. First, we have a full backup and we have the first backup log and at 9 am. Okay, at 10 am, there's a crash in production. Okay, the next backup log uh, with no work, it's normal. The next backup log will not work because the database is not is no longer accessible. Okay, but question, how do you we get the logs between 9 am and 10 am? That's what we call the log backup. Okay, okay, let's see together in the demonstration. Okay, this is the demo for log backup. First, let's Let's drop and create the database. The database has been deleted and created. Create a table and just insert one more. Okay, it's good. Insert transaction one. And let's make a first backup full. It's done and insert true transaction 2 and transaction 3 and let's make a backup and finally insert transaction 4 and 5 okay it's done we have everything in place for the demonstration okay so we have a full backup followed by two backup log a backup log which which has row 2 and 3, but it's important to notice no backup log for 4 and 5. Okay? Let's simulate a crash. Enter the table set single user with rollback immediate and backup demo set offline. And we will delete the MDF file by the old way, old school way. Okay, delete by XPC and the shell with del command and backup the dot MDF file. Okay, file MDF will be delete. Okay, let's execute this. Atal database set on nine. Normal the data file has been deleted okay if you look on the left you have the backup demo in recovery pending backup demo database is not accessible so it's impossible to make to set up the backup data demo online like i said before we have a full backup and a backup log but not a second backup log for restore data for i5. Okay, it's important. So we will try to get this to work. Okay, it's, let's go restore from the first backup full. It's done. Restore log from the first backup log with recovery. So with the row 4 and 3. You can see here four page for the row four and three. And now set up the database in mode recovery. Okay, what does the select give? I think you understand. Just the three row transaction one, two, and three. Okay. But if I want to recover the data page, data page where the data 4 and 5 is written, you must to use the no truncate command. No truncate command will make a backup of the logs still written on the log, what we call the tail log backup. Okay, execute the query, not rank it. You can see six page for the backup demo database. 
Okay, and restore again. Restore database from the backup, from the full backup, restore from the first backup log, and tell log backup. Okay, backup, demo, log backup, tell log backup, sorry. Six page has been uh, restored from the database and what does give the select you have now the transaction for n5 which has been restored okay champagne so in this demo we saw how to use a deadlock backup never never forget the not cat because it can restore you very important data in the event of a server crash. Okay, so let's go to the next demo.